You can get on and off the ramp much faster if you work out a signal with the guy in the truck. We worked out a signal ahead of time with a flight. One up, two down, one up, two down, one up, two down. If I hit him with the light once, he's got to pull up a little. If I hit it twice, he's got to back down a little. Now how much at a time? About a foot. But once you do it for a while, you're pretty close. You shouldn't have to make more than one adjustment. Tie changes things sometimes. All right, let's see. He is... Hmm. Man, he's almost perfect. Yep. But for video's sake, I'll go ahead and give him one blast. He's going to pull up a little bit. Okay. About a foot, right? Now, this is really going to tick him off, but it's going to be funny, okay? One, two. <laughs> now, he's going to be like, what the heck? I just pulled up. <laughs> I just All saw right. him throw his hands up. <laughs> perfect. And if you know Tommy, like I know Tommy, he's not going to find that fun. <laughs> but it's okay. He is a minor joke for this. How pretty is that? Don't forget to do your thing, right guys? He's already up there. I gotta say it on video. <laughs> I'll explain to him later. <laughs> All right, we loaded 95% of the boat at the house. The last 5% here we do before we get to the ramp. We just pulled over on the road here and we're gonna pop our straps off. Do a last minute check here. Our plugs are in, straps are off, everything's in the boat. The last few things we put in a boat is the dog. Max! There you go, bud. You can wait to take your safety chain off when you get down by the water. Alright, we'll make our loop around, it's high tide. It's about the highest I've seen. Yeah, it is. Yeah, why don't you hold that? They were putting all four water, all four wheels in the salt water today. Wow, this is going to be an interesting one. Break on. Me and Tommy make the switch. All right. See my tires are down to the edge. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. Turn my batteries on. All right. Now Tommy's watching my commands. I'm gonna hold on to something stiff. He's watching me. I'm just giving him the. Man, to come back just enough so I can start the motor. That's plenty. All right, I just wanted to go back and up to get the motor in the water. Always start the motor before you launch. All right, we're fired up. I'm going to turn my fish finders on real quick and give him the command to bring us back. Come on, Tommy. While it's coming back, I'm gonna put it in reverse. No, no throttle though, just enough. Tell them coming back, coming back. Give it a little more throttle. All right, we're off. I'm gonna tell Tommy to go. Go.
Now you notice, after Tommy launched me, I did not go tied to a dock. We backed completely off the dock. We're gonna get out of this area to allow other boaters to come in and launch and retrieve. There's no reason for us to be hanging out right in that little slot right there. So we back off a couple hundred yards and we watch for our driver, Tommy, to come down. Now the ramp is still wide open for anyone who needs it. We're not junking up the works here. Remember, always start the motor before you take it off the trailer and float it off. I've seen guys in rivers float off and they're pulling and pulling the full start of the smaller motor and they go right out of sight. All right, now I'm coming to get Tommy. I'm not gonna tie up. I'm just gonna step right on. I'm aiming towards the dock, still floating. I'm gonna put it in reverse, cut the wheel, crank it hard to stop the boat. Max will step right on. Okay, bud. Come on, Max. <laughs> Good job, buddy. And that's it. We're out of here. See, you left the ramp already. It's wide open for the next guy. We're going fishing. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how I launched the boat by myself. Very easy. Go to one of my side cleats here. Go ahead and give her one more wrap. I'll leave the rope right here. I'm going to back closer to the water. Alright, so I'm going to get as close to the dock as possible. And I'm not going to put the boat in further than where that rope cleat is. So I'm going to stop right about where that cleat is still over dry land. Brake on. In park. Alright, I'm going to walk down and grab my rope. See, I'm not terribly close to the dock, but that's all we need. I'm going to grab my lines here. And I'm just going to chuck it up there onto the dock. Make sure you have a good long rope for this. It's just easier with a longer rope. And of course, when I say rope, I mean dock line. All right, I'm gonna walk to the furthest cleat I can reach, but I'm gonna make sure I get it past my guides. All right, if you think that might be a problem for you, flipping it over the guide post, you can just get a nice long angle on it and almost no effort and we go over it. So I'm gonna keep the line tight because I don't want it to go under my trailer tires. And I'm going to go to the furthest cleat I can reach. All right. Now I'm just going to back her in. You can always take the line from there if you want and carry it up and hook it to your truck if you feel better with that. But this works well for me. Break off. Here we go. Park and brake on. If you think you should chalk your rear tires, do it. Can't hurt. And she's behaving, she's staying put. <laughs> I have uh, some guys put floats on, the, on their uh, dock line here and it helps you're worried you're going to get tangled under the trailer but as long as you back far enough the boat will pull the, the line out nicely all right so i'm going to go ahead and pull her to the dock here and that's it i'm going to tie her up tight and go park the truck isn't that a pretty boat how you doing catch them what was that? Oh yeah, yes sir. Mike, Andy. Yes sir. How you doing? What was your name? Andy Roy. Andy. Uh huh. Nice to meet you. I'm Mike Smedley. How you doing, Brian? How you doing, Brian? Yep. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah man. Good nice to meet you. Good to see you. Good to meet you. Good luck. Thank you. You know Zach Royce? Zach Royce? No. That punk kid who broke the state record twice in one day? Catfish? Oh, uh, that's him. That's him, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I've seen the video. <laughs> 
this ramp here, if you look down, one line, really narrow, it's a really crappy ramp. It does have a dock, but we're not gonna use it. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get it by without using the dock. If you have a roller trail, it'll leave your chain on until your tail is in the water. Okay, you're gonna need a dock line at least five foot longer than your boat. Probably 10 foot is best, okay? We're gonna go to our eye. We're just gonna do a series of half hitches here. One, two, three, nothing crazy. Okay. I know you don't have this, but you can tie it right here to your hitch if you need to. Again, just a series of half hitches, nothing crazy. I want to be able to get it off quick and I want to hold the ramp up all day. Three half hitches is good. Alright, I coil my line up here, big coils. Throw this up in here and make sure nothing here will get hung up, right? who have a dock look how easy this is if I was gonna take this boat off the trailer by myself I would level the boat so it almost floats off I fire it up I back it off and tie it up get it close to the dock if you can if you have a dock we're gonna do it without the dock right now you'll notice I picked the ramp with the sandy bottom sandy bottom very important I'm trying to yell over the engine here I'm going to back the boat slowly, just enough for it to float off the trailer, and then I'm going to stop and wait for the stretch to come out of the line. All right, it's in neutral. I'm rolling back. Take a look. sandy bottom is an asphalt bottom it'll look something like this now I don't want to scratch my boat so I'm gonna stop it right there and I'm gonna walk in the water but if you had a sandy bank pull it up on the sandy bank if not bring some boots that's it right there now again if I uh, was by myself and had a nice dock I would just step right on and off just like this That's it. Again, launching by yourself is never a great idea, but I understand it's necessary for some people. You might need some extra equipment, like some boots. It's gonna be cold out, you don't wanna walk in that, right? 
maybe some boots. Look for a sandy bottom, choose your ramp. Stay one that's a little more protected out of the currents, out of the wind. A lot of people not, not really waiting on you. Now I would have to go park my truck, of course, and come down. But I would take this boat right now and I'm gonna back it up just a few feet. Tie it up here and leave. But being that it's the only ramp and you're, we're pretending you don't have a dock, that boat is good to go right there. If you want to take that line and tie it to a cleat, just do it as quick as you can. Get your truck out of here, get down quick. And that's it. Stay safe on the water, leave a few for me. If you like the video, say you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you hate it, give me a thumbs down. If you want to give me a comment, tell me what I did wrong, that's cool too. Love you guys, mean it, please subscribe. Peace.